So, in the midst of figuring out what to talk about, um, I remembered the whole node IPC oh, thing that happened. And I went to go and look for the issue. And it's like, because RIA Evangelist um, was very rude about um, the responses to stuff. So as I came in to go and look for the issue, you'll notice that there are no open issues, but like there are a ton of closed issues. And I started going through them like, okay, maybe I'll find it like here soon. And there's like nothing. Someone's gone through, clo like he's gone through, closed them all. Um, Comments deleted. So basically they've done a lot of cleanup. Let's see, we've got some remaining ones. The issue isn't JavaScript. This can happen in any supply chain. Yeah. Um, all of these are blank titles pretty much. So it looks like they've cleared off the front page of like stuff. And so you go in second page, same deal. Why isn't this dude removed? This There is zero chance that this will be product, a productive conversation. But I figured I'd put this here to prove a point about open source software. While people are fixated on RA evangelist intentions, this shindig along with Faker.js and Colors.js unearthed the dirty underbelly of OSS. People can do what they want to code they have access to. I am by no means saying it is morally right and that the people should put malware in a widely used project. I personally find that morally wrong. But did RIA and Evangelist sign a contract saying that their freely available code that they wrote and maintained on their own time cannot push whatever code they want to? There's obviously a major problem with dependency management and people not vetting the code they include in their services. It is a it is fun to pile on here and continue to make issues with derogatory remarks. I get it. It's the internet, but to blame this on an individual who does not owe anyone anything is ignoring the bigger picture of what is going on with software. <laughs> See, and the thing is, he intentionally did this. Had this been like any other like any other situation, had it, there would be certain political alignments that people would be this I guarantee you this dude would not be saying this same thing. And yes, it makes sense. Oh, check your dependencies and whatnot. But again, it comes down to there's also the issue of he is a maintainer. And had this been like any other project where he wasn't a maintainer and someone had to review the code, would that code have passed because of it? And now a node IPC module or a node module, NPM module, has a 9.8 malware rating, okay? Then you might say he's allowed to do this, but with power comes responsibility. I'll let you complete that one. Thanks for that. That is a great point. Yeah, you've got a lot of power. A lot of, like, corporations and stuff use your crap. Like, really? Oh, yeah, the... Not how law works. The software is provided as is. In no event shall the authors of copyright holders be liable for any claim damages or other liability. Uh, yeah, when you... <clears throat> at the same time, when you intentionally do it, I think you as an individual can be held responsible for contributing that code. <clears throat> since we can dial it back to you, since you can tell it was intentionally malicious, not just accidental. Hmm. So he keeps coming through and closing all these issues about Node. And this, my friend, is why no one takes Node.js in generally front-end-centered frameworks for production and infrastructure seriously. Grown-ups don't have time for this. Okay, I spilled on myself. So... <clears throat> This is true. Corporations, <clears throat> they do have the resources, but <clears throat> no one has the time for <clears throat> people de destroying intentionally data with their code, enforcing updates to where everyone has to get it. Because, like, when you send out an, 
update for something that everyone uses and they automatically update and you add a dependency like that, it's like that that's still not good mojo. Correct, but then that then that's why a lot of the developers that end up writing JS don't have the standards or practice that other languages usually provide. People know that other languages hate JS and don't attempt to learn it or see why it's useful. So I'd appreciate that people stop shitting on JS and instead try to help it. They could very easily propose changes to the ECMA Foundation, push for changes in NPM GitHub regarding packages like this, etc. Yeah, well, I mean, yes, everything runs JavaScript on the web. But, I mean, we could also just, I guess, yeah, make JavaScript better to work with rather than have all 10 million different layers on top of it. Here, here, here's the man of the hour. It is not so bad if we just try our best to follow the best practices and lock package dependency versions. I learned this when I built the Bionic Eye and used colors back in 2012 when Mars, Marek had his first issue. Started writing things on my own as much as I possibly could and back then. All we can do is try our hardest to do our best or opt that the risk is not worth paying our own developers to write our own versions instead of using something free. Also, if we like free work but don't want the risk, if the license says it's okay, we can use it after code review in our own way or be inspired by it when writing our own code. This is the nature of OSS. Every coin has two sides and we have, at the very least, have to at the very least be aware of the sides if we are to choose to make an educated decision on global economic security. Please use your morals and decide if you're okay with your company or government systems relying on free software and trusting when we still have people willing to start wars in our world. So again, here's the moral grandstanding. You intentionally destroyed lots of people's data to make a point, and now you're moral grandstanding. A anyway... Um, let's see. Aw, oh, no description. Did he clear it out? Sad. Okay, but... Have you seen the Nissan NX2000 how cool it generally is? Looks amazing. Even better than Tesla. Cars are overrated. Walking's good. Why do you, why do you, why do you clear out... Why do you clear out stuff, dude? No comments. What happened? I thought we had each other. This is heartbreaking. I'm not from Russia, but I remember we're here because we had each other. There should be no discrimination in dev community on any regards, no matter black, white, poor, rich, African-American, or Russian, or Stack Overflow reputation. <laughs> Copy pasta. <laughs> we helped each other to reach this state, and I owe a lot to this community. I bet everyone else, too. Imagine people are doing this all over, like, Angular, React, Express, Node.js, and every popular repo are deleting Russian commits and PRs, and removing all Stack Overflow Russian answers. And now I can't trust open source because, after all the sweat and tears I put into my project for years, vanished in a snap due to some government-to-government -government conflict. This, that is heartbreaking. I may never have never voted for the government or may never support government actions. I may be cherishing my family, my kids, my dreams, and the same community helped me to gain all of them are now destroying it in a snap. Innocent Russian lives matters, just like how black lives mattered. God bless you, your family, and your people. <sighs> See, this dude... What what if some poor family was using Node IP was using software based on Node IPC to communicate with their family outside of Russia or Belarus, and he ruined it all for them, and then everything else. Think of the children, people. <laughs> they are programmed to think and react to certain stimuli in certain pattern. You cannot change their mind, even if you present them with authentic and. Information. You cannot change the basic perception and logic of behavior. Process of demoralization is complete and irreversible. Aw, why'd you close it? I mean, that's all gone. No more. Free and safe software we can use now. If anyone who runs a repository can literally put malware to delete personal data of some, some people in a public repository... 
we cannot trust more other free packages because tomorrow someone will decide to put malware in his repository and etc. That's not even about Russia and Ukraine. Some other country can be bullied this way. Malicious code can be added to any software. You need to check for updates and not download mindlessly. In this case, Nazis showed themselves. What can I say? Nothing but disgust for these people can not be experienced. <clears throat> Bring back the malware. Why'd you backpedal on the malware? I thought you st hashtag stand with Ukraine, bro. A little bit of negative feedback is enough to sway you. Did you ever support them in the first place? You haven't even colored your avatar in yellow and blue. Seems to me you were never serious about Ukraine. Couldn't help myself joining the spam. <laughs> so again, we go through. Do we even have any? Ha ha ha. Oh my goodness. Why does he keep closing issues? I think we should fork over NPM keys to a reputable org like OpenJS and go underground for a while. He made a mistake. A big mistake. There's no fixing it. But the code should live on in the hands of a trusted steward. See, I... Mm, sad. Loud minority. I'm sure there are way more good Americans around. Aw, don't be that way. I have nothing to say. Seriously, look at this face. You'll realize my reaction on this move. So we're hitting page four. <laughs> Customize which IP locations wipe the hard drive. <laughs> Prepare for the wipe. <laughs> I have your IP. Prepare to wipe. <laughs> Going in, boys. Nopeless was here. I am in a historical moment. Congrats. <laughs> Step one, npm init minus y. Copy paste the following into index.js. <laughs> I am the hundredth normie to complain about this. Do I get a special prize? You have my updoot. <laughs> you have my updoot. You have my keyboard. You have my mouse. You have my tor node. What? So how long until I can get back to learning Svelte? Ba, ba, ba. Add custom images to replace the files with. <laughs> Instead of just charts, can we have custom images to overwrite these files? <coughs> cool bug facts. Implanting WannaCry. Ooh. Yes. Fork. See, see, here's where the trolls really come in. We support the Tsar Putin's glorious and just war of reclamation against the CIA puppet regime in control of Ukraine. It'll become Russian economy. Gaming. <laughs> oh my goodness, you people. Help Brandon find a new job. What Brandon did was wrong, but everyone deserves forgiveness. Let's post job applications to help him get his life back on track. <laughs> Can't say I'd trust the food made by him. Would likely mess with the food of anyone he thinks is Russian. Malicious hamburgers with love from McDonald's. Every McDonald's burger he makes will have a tiny atom bomb that will explode if it thinks the person who ate it is Russian. He's good, bro. He's going to make be making license plates for two cents an hour in prison. Wouldn't trust him, but, you know, might give him a second chance. That's for an individual to choose for their own. Frankly, I will not be giving them one. They demonstrated a willful disregard for the individuals using the code directly or otherwise. They showed they cannot be trusted as either A as they either A acted in severe ignorance based on emotion, B willfully acted the attacked the private citizens and companies using this code out of virtue signaling, and C all of the above. 
So I was looking at the um, Geneva Conventions, and it it is kind of debate like I I think there's some like area where you could like argue that this is very war crimey because it's attacking it's attacking civilian infrastructure rather than oh military infrastructure and you're basically you're attacking civilians instead of combatants which like is re like really bad but yeah yep i agree i will definitely not give him another chance in any tech related for sure <clears throat> uncertain of what to expect now and in my ethics when it comes to building something like this the code is supposed to touch the issue the project is aimed at and keep contained to that issue it's holding a it's building a block Flaming him with issues is counterproductive, but a natural internet thing. If he doesn't dig in and double down more, maybe he's wise enough to back away from it for things to cool down. What matters is this not happening elsewhere. To play these kinds of cards in this kind of a position, that's reputation damage that is going to be fairly easily to look up. Malicious hamburgers. Isn't that just regulars McDonald's hamburgers? How did you let... Oh, he didn't have a chance to, like, attack it. So, yeah. Global issues versus contained software principles. Well, this was a bad idea. This, good luck to you. I don't know if it was the principle of the thing you were so certain of or something more fickle, but if there was a right way to go about what you were trying to do, this wasn't it. Now there are tons of eyes on it. Solid move, this. The immediate reaction you're getting will fade, but this is a mark I don't think you're completely shedding. I'd expect more attention onto Project Forks. You've got tons of issue spam to deal with. I'll be closing this with this comment. You've undermined your credibility in one fell swoop. Software principles are key in a position like this. Look, he even closed it himself like he said. Ideology meets software principles. Yeah, he retitled it too. Do, do, do. <clears throat> Gale will not be nice to you, buddy. He breathes into his own head, or however little of it left, of course. So he breathes carbon dioxide. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not going to. No, no, no. Anyone here for mental outlaw? <laughs> also, I hope this doesn't. He, this doesn't delete all of my files recursively and replace them with heart emojis if I had a Russian or Belarusian IP, would it? Yeah, I found out about this because of his video, Based Jogger. Same here, I had no idea until I opened YouTube. No, watch his video right now, though. Yes, thankfully I found out about it. I was looking for YouTube videos in the library because this was exactly the library my project needed. However, I will now never use this package nor any other packages from this user. No doubt a large section of recent activity. I would not suggest using it at all, but rather waiting till this issue crime is solved. Just wait until somebody forks the repo and uses that instead. It's going to happen soon enough. Yep, I think that'll be the best case scenario. That's the road. Got to keep an eye on it. I'm glad you found it before you installed malware on your PC. <laughs> no problem. He posted BRB. <laughs> Frankly, I don't trust any code with their name on it now. They've ruined their reputation. If I can't find an alternative library, I'd sooner write my own than ever touch any package with their name on it again. Their actions were simply abhorrent, attacking private citizens knowingly and willingly. It is not just morally objectionable, but straight up a crime. A war crime. And again, the exact details of it will have to be worked out to um, determine whether a war crime tribunal is necessary. Node IPC at 10 should be safe. And also, I forked the repo just in case they add that nonsense back. I can understand that since that is how I am feeling, I am just going to stick to using forks of the package. Can really just... Well, yeah. Honestly, I don't want code of theirs in my project at this point. This... Their work deserves to be forgotten in obscurity. This is just about my moral standing. Just as I wouldn't want the code of a flagrant racist in my project, I don't want the code of somebody who either A, demonstrated a lack of control over their emotions 
and impulsiveness, or B, demonstrated a willful disregard for the individual's companies using the code. I know about this because of him. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Is this how ratios are done on GitHub? <laughs> yes. Cringe twit-tard moment. <laughs> what the frick? The only good ratio. Knock, knock, open up. This is a cyber police. Dude, he has been in, like, everyone. A JavaScript equivalent to how McDonald's smells. This has gotten out of hand. <laughs> you create... Obviously, what he's done is horrible, and the commenting on the malware and how wrong it was is good. But you guys are full on trying to ruin this guy's entire life. If you support cancel culture, which if you support cancel culture, then sure, you're just canceling someone. But if you don't support it, then that applies to everyone. While what he did was extremely messed up and wrong, also very likely illegal, he's still a person. Uh, the people who are advocating using his phone number and home address to troll are also part of the problem. See, I would not go that far. Just, like, dump the project in all of his code, okay? Just like the other ones we've read. You guys also give the FOSS community a bad name. The issue section alone will be enough to stop people from using this project, and it's already removed been removed as a dependency for many projects. If you have further problems with him, sue him or do some of that lawyer shit. But attacking him on a personal level is just making the situation worse. Why did he shrink my cock? It's not over till he's in federal custody. For all my homies that ain't convi convinced, there's such a thing as too much trolling. Just a second. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting all this hate. I absolutely should be locked away. Never allowed to touch a computer again. He ruined potentially millions of people's lives and likely terabytes of data loss. A first goal would be getting the package removed from NPM as people are still downloading it. No, he needs to go to jail. You yourself said what he did is illegal. Where are his repercussions? Yes, you guys are full on trying to ruin this guy's entire life. Yes, that is the goal. When you ruin innocent, like, innocent people's lives. Well, like, you've got a bunch of people trying to ruin his life for committing, like, something that is at probably the least very, very close to a war crime. Um, yeah, like, that. that ruins, like, a lot of people's lives. So, I mean... Yeah, pl cope, play stupid games. Yeah, close it. Like you should close your mouth. <laughs> My goodness. <clears throat> your favorite song, Malware Made by an NPC. Oh, please, image. Jannies, do it for free. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Come on, buddy. Nope. Sad. Okay, buddy. Do, do, do. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> I support the schizophrenic dis... This... I support the schizophrenic disgrace the entire community. Yeah, you people like that that run on their emotions do that to open source. You forgot to add Russian warship. <laughs> oh. No. Okay. My wonderful dedicated... <clears throat> Well, <laughs> my goodness, Ooh. Did 
Did you know that you're getting a Russian lesson today? This is a mistake. <laughs> uh, let me bump that up for like. Nahui. 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 Where's my audio reading? I want audio. Help! This package deleted my special homework folder. More than a terabyte gone. I've been hacked. All my apes gone. This just sold. Please help me. Yep, the dev malware perpetrator did this. Chuck's feed and seed. <laughs> Dang it. Protest war. There is no pizza eat to eat. Sat here watching someone with general skill and drive in the development community ruining their career. It's disgusting to protest against Russian in the form of harming everyday developers who depend on your module. Yeah, um, yeah, d warn your users that you're doing this. That's important, too. Then cover it up by deleting comments, closing issues. Ruined the reputation you built and you'll not land a future job. I assume that people will be looking into you. you trying to harm your current job status. See if any packages you use are dependencies of Node IPC. By the way, um, I believe, yep, this is the one. I think they've just about cleared it all up, maybe. I'm eternally grateful for your action. Even if there was collateral damage, it's just overwhelming madness that people feel entitled to sacrifice a whole nation of Ukraine for the sake of peace. So as to avoid World War III, and it is absolutely crazy that some people would still use Russian Belarus servers and services after their invasion. What if they don't have a choice because they're from Russia and they're innocent? Just going to leave this here. Oh, we'll leave that be. Okay, I'm gonna, like, skip the employer ones. Your own fault to everyone. Do us all a favor and save the harassment for another time. Blah, blah, blah. Wall of shame. While I usually don't do this, here's a list of issues and... Issue comments that I find disgusting. Be it because they insult the people behind the software, share hate, or similar actions. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. Okay, absolute state of blah, blah, blah. Hey, Japanese dude. The poor spam. Mine do not download malware is not epic. This is a meme page now. <laughs> Bottom text, crazy in it. <laughs> Just a second. I da da da. You're smoking penis cock and weed in a circle. Hey everyone, do us all a favor. Oh blah blah blah. Penis size shrunk after installation. So I installed the latest release and my cock just got really small. What do I do? Install an older version. It reverts the changes automatically. If if the developer could tag this as urgent, did it help? This isn't a bug. The developer did it on purpose because he'll never get a big one. So he just lowers the standard. Just lock a dependency version, guys. Come on. <clears throat> Yeah, just lock your dependency versions. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Because you never update anything for security reasons. Dependencies never update. Just lock your dependency versions. Just such an idiot. Like, what kind of response is that? Like, if you're, like, trying to stay on top of security, you kind of want to make sure that you're updating at the same time. You can't just lock it and stay forever. You are a terrible person.
this is malware, don't use this package. Dev turned out to be a huge piece of crap, software is no malware. Is no malware still? Sneed. Enjoy your new criminal record. What law did he break? And where? Sabotage. Making spreading malware. Hasn't been very long, but who knows how much damage this has caused so far. There was never any good intention in secretly adding this. It's malicious. Dial 8. <laughs> the sign is a subtle joke. The shop, blah, blah, blah. What's a sneed? Sneed bump. See, and I can't comment on it because he closed it. <clears throat> Next week. <laughs> Hello, comrades. After the successful military operation, <clears throat> Donetsk and Luhansk, we have liberated the east of Ukraine from Nazi power. Next, we must cleanse the web shit package manager from all Nazi, Nazi sympathizer malware. Praise Allah. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> the coast of Queef flew over my house. Please remove NIT banis. I'm not translating that. <laughs> did, what what the freak did the Russians do? Free free no cat. So all Russians and Belarusians are bad now? Does this opinion surprise you coming from the people who willingly endorse Azov or at a minimum run in interference for them? Really? <laughs> we did it, Reddit. Uh, maybe. Repos closed due to AIDS. Yeah! <laughs> Posting in a pinned thread, a little UTKM2 to bar. Snacks is back. To my future employers, everything here is satire. I'm merely pro protest posting in my free time. <laughs> Yes, let us take care of all of the O oh, war crimes, please. Oh, <laughs> with love from America TXT, sometimes not created. Why? Why do you only do this to Russian and Belarusian peoples? Why not everybody? Please share the love with your malware. Could you please? <laughs> you seem to have accidentally closed the commit here without a um. Uh, you you seem to have closed the issue without a commit hash. Do you care to like correct that, please? You have been reported. New cool feature request. Discovered this cool malware yesterday. Can you please add the option to format BIOS? Thanks. We'll add an option for nuclear launch. Thanks for supporting this project. Can we add an option to cause thermal thermal overloads in local machines and destroy thousands of dollars in personal property owned by millions of a specific type of persons we don't personally know? Who would be great. Thanks. Obviously irony, by the way. Yes. This is what you did. Is You destroyed data of like at least thousands of people who you didn't know and you didn't know where they sat in their opinions how good do you feel look at him he's deleting issues yet i don't know where like the pro the um stuff starts package should never try to do unrelated thing <gasps> is this that is this it oh sorry Switch to blah, blah. I think we actually got into actual issues. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We finally hit the actual issues. I don't even think I have the patience to, like, go through them. Is your brain a paste? I think this is where it starts, but yeah. If you found this rabbit hole kind of entertaining, like I did going through it for like first time um leave a comment leave a comment with your favorite one and maybe links to other issues that are very interesting and i will see you all later